If you could see Abigail share the screen with another famous vampire, who would you love for her to meet? That is so, that is an amazing question. I mean, We don't need Alicia, I love this movie. So seriously, thank you for taking the time. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. I, you know, I've interviewed uh, a couple of actors who've played monsters before, the guys who played Freddy and Jason and Michael and Pennywise. And a lot of them always tell me that they stay away from the other actors on set so that they're scarier whenever they're all finally together. I'm sort of curious, what was your relationship with the other actors on set, were you friendly with them or, or like the other, other guys, did you sort of keep your distance? No, I was friendly with them. I mean, it was very new to me and they were all so helpful as well, but I definitely didn't stay away from them. I mean, when I went on set, all the costume and the blood and the contacts and the, and the teeth, I mean, it really helped me, you know, transform myself into someone that didn't look like Alicia. And I mean, they'd known me as Alicia, we'd met before as, how I look now. So, I mean, it was definitely different, but when they said action, I mean, I was fully into her character and I wasn't Alicia anymore and I transformed myself into her and I wasn't referring back to myself, but when they said cut, then I was, you know, back to being Alicia again. Okay, I've got to, you mentioned the blood and the teeth, which I've got to talk about because, you know, I, you spent a good amount of the movie covered in blood, but anyone who's been on a movie set knows that there's a lot of downtime between shots. So, what was it like just walking around on set, grabbing lunch, talking to people, hanging out while you were completely covered in blood. It was strange. It definitely was strange at the start. And we had like 40 minutes at the start of the day to get the dry blood on. And then when we'd go on set before they'd say, you know, when it was sooner because the blood was so sticky and so wet. And at times it was very uncomfortable as it was everywhere, like everywhere. And as the movie goes on, the blood gets heavier and, and places that weren't there before. And so it's definitely strange and different, but it was weird. And um, I mean, they couldn't take it off when I had to go for lunch because then they'd have to spend all the time reapplying all the blood. So I was eating lunch most of the time, looking like a ballerina vampire, which definitely was weird and strange because <laughs> they couldn't take it off, but it was, it was fun. That is amazing. Please tell me you got to keep a pair of the teeth. You know, I didn't get to keep a pair of the teeth. It was definitely strange. I mean, they had the normal teeth that I spoke with when I was, you know, transforming myself into that character. But then I also had stunt teeth because they were, the normal teeth were quite sharp at times. So I had the stunt teeth and they were very, they took a long time to get used to as they were like gum shield and they took up a lot of your mouth. So first of all, I had to get used to the normal teeth and speaking in them and then the stunt teeth as well. But it was, it was weird at times, especially, especially when I looked in the mirror. That is fantastic. Okay, we're gonna call someone and we're gonna get you a pair of those teeth. We're, we're, we're gonna find out who we gotta talk to. <laughs> um, I, you know, obviously vampires have been a part of, of pop culture for, for centuries. Uh, so I'm sort of curious, of all the famous vampires from movies, TV shows, books, if you could see Abigail share the screen with another famous vampire, who would you love for her to meet? That is so, that is an amazing question. I mean, Abigail's father is a mystery and she he's an underworld crime boss and you definitely find out who he is in the end of the film. But, you know, before Abigail, I hadn't seen many vampire films, but my favorite was Vampire Diaries, and I love the cast from that, and I've seen all the series with my friends, um, but I don't know. That's a good question. I'll have to think about that, who Abigail would like. I mean, she's very picky, and she has two different sides, and, you know, she might snap, um, but yeah, I'll think about it. I'm not sure the vampires from Vampire Diaries could survive Abigail, but I'd, Honestly, I'd still pay to see it. Either. I'd like to see it, and I'd like to see how they'd hold up against Abigail, and I think it would be fun, but I don't know either. Alicia, we just created gold in this interview. Right now, someone better be writing down that idea, because that's a, that's a billion dollar idea right there. <laughs> um, they're pulling me out of here. I got a thousand more questions for you, but you are a rock star. I'm such a fan. Congratulations, you did an amazing job, and I hope that this is the first of many interviews, because uh, you're, you're really an amazing talent. So seriously, thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Bye, guys. Have a Where we're going, we don't need roads.